Toto Bravo, and uh, today's video is going to be an update video on my AK 63DS, which is a Sentry Arms made AK utilizing a Hungarian parts kit. Um, this is an underfolder AK, as you can see, and uh, I have 1500 rounds through it, and uh, I've had it several months. So I've shot it. Uh, not an extreme amount, but I have put, uh, you know, 1,500 rounds for me is a decent amount of ammunition to put through a weapon, especially when you're not sponsored and everything is funded by yourself. So 1,500 rounds for me is quite a bit. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the update video is because I've had a, a couple things uh, since the last video that uh, were less than favorable happen, and I want to share that with folks in the event that they're looking for this type of AK. Uh, they'll have some additional things to look at to ensure that there's um, is not or you know maybe maybe the maybe the symptoms for what I had go wrong were present when I purchased it and maybe I can help somebody out that's looking and they can avoid uh, the same situation that I had uh, the first thing that I had happen as I put it into frame here is uh, while after a range visit I was cleaning uh, the rifle and I had noticed that this front pin right here was missing. It had completely fallen out of the uh, the weapon. And this rear pin here, uh, half of it was sticking out. And on the other side, it was flush. What happened was the pin had sheared in two. So I had to remove that. These are the new pins that I've since put in to secure the front sight post. So maybe that's a fluke. Maybe they are using poor quality pins during the assembly process, uh, but that's something you can look at um, if you're looking at purchasing one of these. The second thing that I've experienced, and um, it's not too extensive, but it is worth mentioning. Um, if you look inside here, and I'll do my best to show it off. Uh, lighting's not the best. But if you look right here, there's some rust. No matter how much I clean this, if I let it sit, you'll get some rust that kind of seeps out from behind uh, this ledge right here. And let me move the, uh, the stock here to show the next point, which is on a rivet. So if I put this into frame, if you look right here this rivet seems to be troublesome uh, this rivet here no matter how much I clean it scrub it with a brush uh, CLP or REM oil what have you after it sits for a bit I always get some some rust that comes up behind this particular rivet right here I don't know if maybe the, the coating when this was put on uh, was lacking under this particular rivet or what have you but I get a lot of rust behind that rivet right there. Now I have experienced some rust on a couple of the other rivets, but not to the extent that this one particular one here below the safety. I get that quite a bit. A lot of rust comes out of that particular area there. Besides that, the finish everywhere else is held up fairly well. I mean, there's no real wear that you wouldn't expect. Now, the, like I said, this is 1,500 rounds, so it's not... It's not a huge amount of ammunition, but still, I've used it in uh, the summer, then the rain, usage here in the early fall, and really, it's held up rather well. Uh, the bolt carrier group, if you look at that, I'm going to just bring it by the, the lens there, you can see that even with 1500 rounds, not a whole lot of visible wear on that bolt and bolt carrier. So that looks pretty good. So really, the update video was just to uh, to bring to your attention that uh, I did have some issues with the, the front sight post with these pins here, and it's just something that you can look out for. Other than that, um, you know, no stoppages, uh, no malfunctions at all. It's, uh, it's functioned uh, very well, as you would want an AK to function. And um, besides these pins, I'm happy. I'm happy with uh, with the trade. Well, actually, it wasn't a trade. I'm happy with the exchange that I got from Century because this was an exchange for another one of their uh, their AK platforms. But that one was a Zastava platform that didn't work out so well. 
but I'm, I'm happy with it. It's a, it's an under folder, and uh, that's a beast all itself. This is Toto Bravo, and I hope you find this uh, the video useful. And uh, until I see you at the range again, thanks for watching.